afternoon guys it's friday afternoon for me it's about 3 15 i finished early so i thought i'd get on and film my sunday video i'm aboard lovely mr coop look at the old boy my champ because i'm actually doing a video on my top three favorite kind of gymnastic grid work type exercises with my horse so you can see i've got one set up there one set up over there and then i've got the third one i'll do when i finish doing those two i have i've run out of poles and jumblings by this point um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you. I love I love a grid work or sort of gymnastic exercise for horses. Not only is it just really good fun, but it's great for them too. Um, so yeah, so as I say, I hope you've had a really good week. It's kind of flying by at the moment, don't you think? I mean, Babington's not far off. I've got my pass ready for Babington. I'm going on Friday. Uh, always a dressage day for me. And yeah, no, no shopping list. <laughs> I'm always saving money, so we're not doing any shopping this year. But I am looking forward to just having a mooch around and watching a few of the dressage tests. And I've definitely got a video um, around badminton horse trials coming out too. So keep a look out on that in the next few weeks. And yeah, very exciting. But I just feel like time is flying by at the moment. I feel like I can't keep up. Um, the weather has not been as bad as expected this week. Because obviously originally it was meant to be a corker of a week. And then that all went out the window. Um, but actually it's been okay. So it's been very April showers as has today been. Um, so that's fine. We can cope with that. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to crack on and start filming this video. Because they always take forever. <laughs> it's a lot of getting on and off. And changing the camera angle and all that kind of thing and because i can't grab anyone to film um me and cooper just gonna be out here for quite a long time so wish us luck this first exercise is a lovely simple one to start with simply have a cross with canter poles on the approach and landing if my arena was a smidge longer i would have even more canter poles than this but as it is we've had to keep it to a minimum so this is a great exercise for helping maintain a balanced, even rhythm to the fence, helping with the horse have that little bit more jump in its canter on the approach and just helping keep it straight, actually. On landing, I find it really beneficial to have poles after the fence. This way, again, it helps keep the horse straight. Also helps the horse maintain a good canter after the fence, so stops it getting too long in the frame or sometimes running onto its forehand. This is an exercise that kind of works for all levels and ages and abilities. So you can just adjust the fence depending on your horse's ability. All these exercises are a great gymnastic workout for your horse. So brilliant for muscle development, core strength and overall fitness. Here we have a small bounce to a couple of canter poles back to a small bounce. Again, in my arena, if it was longer, I'd probably have more poles in the middle of this exercise. It's really good at getting your horse thinking quickly with its feet, so ideal for sharpening them up. I like to try and leave my horse alone as much as possible so they can think for themselves as working through the exercise. As a rider, we need to make sure that we're careful not to overfold through it. Again, this exercise really helps the horses canter, helping them stay off of the forehand. Great if you've got a horse that likes to rush. You can see that I've changed the exercise again now just slightly. I've got the bounce at the beginning, canter poles, and then to a spread. I've purposely left no ground line on the spread to help the horse get a little bit more up in the air, so more height over it. Obviously, it's always important to reward your horse throughout these exercises. And Gymnastic work for your horses is hard work, so just be aware of that. I then change the exercise once more to a rail, canter poles, to a spread. So again, have a bit of fun with it, play around. But obviously you can adjust it to suit the ability of your horse. Good morning, how are you all doing? It's Saturday for me. And as you can see, I'm very foggy. God knows why. I think it's cold last night, actually, I think that's why. Um, yeah, still getting cold temperatures in the end of April. Lovely. It must be time for a change soon. I mean, is this typical April weather? I, I can't remember. I seriously cannot remember. Guys, quiet for a second. Um, I can't remember if this is typical weather temperatures. I think this is a little bit below average. It seems colder than it should be. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go for a hack a little bit later with Cork and Sienna. I need to go and empty my lorry out, my big lorry, because we are getting rid of her. I don't use her enough and I think it's just time. So I've had that lorry for a very long time. So I've got to do a big clear out today. Um, that'll be fun. I feel like that'll bring back times, uh, especially in like all the eventing years and stuff. Cause you know what it's like with horse boxes, you just collect things and then it just ends up living in there. So um, yeah, clear out today is what's happening. So here we go. Wheelbarrow of all the rubbish that came out of the lorry. Um, I mean, goodness knows the last time I wore a number bib. That must have been from quite some time ago. A body protector that I'm fairly confident is no longer legal to event in. Um, I think there's an old cross country hat. Um, this velvet one. I think this one's probably still alright to be worn. It wasn't that old when I got it. Some jods, that kind of thing. A few rugs in there, spare rugs. 
Um, but yeah, nothing too, nothing too exciting to be honest. Lots of very old eventing stuff. I think there was a yeah stop clock, stop clock watch down there. So yeah, God, now I've got to find homes for all this. Fun times. But anyway, I feel slightly like sad emptying it out. Afternoon, guys. We are out and about. The sun has come out. I mean, it's not perfect blue skies, but it's a lot better than we predicted today was meant to be like. And um, now feeling quite warm in my coat. Sienna, Sienna wasn't convinced she really wanted to go for a hack. Thank you, Koo. Go for a hack to begin with, but she's changed her mind since. Corporal is 100% on strike today. I think it's feeling a little tired from yesterday's gymnastic work, which is understandable. But <laughs> he does not want to go for a hack. He's being very rude. Like, you know, any opportunity he can see, he starts turning around and just says, let's go home. I'm like, uh, no. Um... Lara, Lara the legend, is coming to ride with me tomorrow, so that means I can hack Sienna and ride, so that's good. She's done a good lot of work this week. It'll mean I would have sat on her four times this week and she will have um, been led twice and she'll have one day off. So it's quite a lot of work for her at the moment and it's probably more than I'd long-term like her to be in because obviously it's making her rather fit and I don't want her too fit. But she seems to appreciate doing a bit more work and I'm trying to just sit on her as much as I can to help my confidence and her confidence but I think it's been a good week with her actually I sort of feel like we're doing a lot of learning at the moment and I'm really working her out again and the consistency is paying off it she's not been easy necessarily and it's not I don't think any session has started off that well this week but it's certainly got going in the middle of it and we've finished on a high and that's all I can ask for at the moment and I've been introducing some sort of lateral work to her which she seems to really enjoy she's kind of up for the challenge of something new it's just it's always a juggle with her to, when introducing stuff new that she she has a thing about wanting to get it right straight away and when she doesn't she gets a little bit upset and then she then slightly throws the toys out of the pram because she doesn't feel like she got it straight away so it's a, finding that she needs a lot of praise a lot of reward a lot of like just telling her she's doing a good job to keep her confidence up um because she really does work well off of praise um and then when she's getting something right she's very happy and you know it's it's her thinking she's got it wrong it's not me telling her she's got it wrong but she just she gets her knickers in just twist quite quickly if she thinks something isn't going to plan it's really interesting i don't I think it's a mere thing i think they're just so sensitive and they just overthink things, or as girls, they just get on with it, don't they? Um, but it's been good, it's been good. I feel like we've really been like, really making progress and really thinking about ways we can help her feel confident. Stop biting him! <laughs> She's so naughty. Confident and just help her keep moving forward. What's up, Arts? Arts is having a grumpy day, as always. Every day's a grumpy day for you, isn't it? Every day's a grumpy day. Um, I was just watching a reel about the curry comb and that you can like turn it i've got very old-fashioned curry combs but i do think i've got one modern one so now i want to go and try it um anyway i meant to come on and end this vlog because i need to get on and muck out and tidy up and i was gonna do a bit of tack cleaning if i feel like it hello are you all right oh you're such a kissy bear aren't you yes you really are um let me see if i can find a curry comb so i managed to find one excuse it's not very clean but supposedly if you pull it up you can turn it i never knew that because it has different teeth size. So the teeth this side are a little longer than the teeth that side. Who knew? My God, how many years have I been doing horses and I didn't know that? <laughs> I love it when you find out things like that. Um, actually, I think I like it on the, the slightly, yeah, the, the small shark's teeth side, I think I prefer it on. So yeah, who knew? Who knew? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get on and muck out again and feed again. Yes. Oh my God. While we were hacking on the way home, we um, have to go past a field that has a lot of horses in it. And I'm pretty sure that the little, um, there's like a little black pony stallion out there. Anyway, it came bombing along the hedge line and Sienna got right up on her toes, tail in the air, proper little moo. And was doing, I mean, to be fair, she was doing the most amazing passage down the road. Like I was being such an attention seeker with your tongue. Um... Yeah, honestly, she, the, her passage was stunning. I was just watching her like, oh, check you out, girl. Um, didn't you with your tail in the air? Yes. So I don't know if she realised it was a stallion. Um, I didn't notice whether she's in season. But yeah, anyway, thank goodness Corporal was there. You were actually quite good, though. You did a little bounce. Stop playing with that tongue. She's obsessed with playing with her tongue. 
does it when you're riding her she does it when she's just in the stable don't you it's not even when i'm here <laughs> she does i sometimes i'll just look out my kitchen window and she's just playing with it um don't you yes yes you do anyway it was very nice to watch i love it when she does a bit of a fancy move like i know it's because she's like you know her adrenaline's going and whatever but it's just nice to see her. and she really does she was like proper on her toes just looking stunning so uh, i was rather enjoying your display yes i was anyway I hope you've had a good Sunday and managed to get a little bit of rest and some chill time and uh, roll on another week.